Hi, my name is Mars, and I am desperate to become a Hogwarts wizard. And with me, joining me in my crusade, I have Joe Cat. Welcome, Joe Cat. Thank you for coming on. Hi, hello. Uh, hi, nice to meet you. I also would like to join the Hogwarts because I am desperate for situations that put me in social interaction so that I can talk with people and have friends again. As you're saying this, I'm just holding up a gun behind you like, yes, say the wizard thing. Yes. <laughs> Is it like specifically Hogwarts that made you want to know magic and stuff? Look, I'm going to be honest. I actually did not care much for Harry Potter for the longest time at all, actually. So I've always been obsessed with the concept of making things from out of nowhere mm -hmm. and manipulating matter that already exists, okay? And so when I grew up, my main source of like magical output or like my entire obsession was video games and board games, but also the books I was reading. But weirdly enough, the books I read were kind of about magic, but not really and as i grew up like my friends would hate me because i would sit there and be like oh, there's no books that's truly about magic in schools and they would grab me by the face and be like read harry potter please and i would refuse until i was like 19 and in college and one of them just spent 50 bucks on the entire series gave it to me as a gift and they're like read it Read it. I have bought you the books. Now read it. <laughs> the entire series, the movies must have been out by then. Yeah? Yes. Um, but I And I had watched yeah. the movies, but look, I'm not going to lie. The movies are not too great. You know, I wasn't the biggest fan of them. Mm, didn't enjoy them. The first few were fine, but then the later few, the last like four or five, it was very obvious that things were cut from those movies. So I was like, I can't follow the story and I don't have this investment. So I want to read the book and figure it out. And I'm not going to lie. I have never, ever cried after reading a book series except for Harry Potter. Dang. I was bawling after reading the last book, man. And I, I think like the writing itself in the books is not too great. I'm not gonna lie, the writing style is not great. But the I no one could deny the world building. The world building was so good, man. Mm. It was really, really, really good. And I think that just reaffirmed that I desperately want to become a wizard. Just desperately. <laughs> Was it just the quality of these stories that drew you in that made you want to go to Hogwarts or was it actual magic itself? Honestly speaking, the characters are great. I really like the characters. I did imagine, even as a 19 year old, I was just like, man, it would have been really fun to go to school and just coexist with them, right? Like being in yeah. their crew would have been very fun. Yeah. But I'm not gonna lie, some of the best moments that I really liked was this idea of actually learning spells and being knowledgeable and getting yeah. better at that craft. Craft, you know? Yeah. Oh. Especially in the movies. The movies are a great job of showcasing that, you know? Akio, Akio, whatever, and like getting the boomstick. Actually, Akio, subscribe <laughs> to the viewers. <laughs> Akio, your mouse over to the subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you take the Pottermore quiz? I did. I'm going to guess you're a Ravenclaw guy. Okay. And I am going to guess that you're a Ravenclaw guy. Yeah. What'd you get? Ravenclaw. You nailed it. <laughs> oh, nice. What about you? Uh, so I don't think my Pottermore test is very accurate. You know, these personality quizzes in and of themselves are always weird. And also I took them over the course of a couple of years. So the first time I took it, I got Slytherin. And then the second time I took it, Gryffindor. And then the third time I took it, I got Hufflepuff. So I'm just like, I don't know what the hell house I am. So I'm just going to pick the one that feels right. I think I'm a Hufflepuff. Mm. You're a very kind and loyal person. I can definitely see that. Aww. But you're also like Aww. very like analytical and studious. And I like that. I, I wanted to say that my draw to Hogwarts, I'm starting to realize, is not the magic itself, but the community of being in a school, the social feeling of being in a school. I miss having an excuse to meet with a group of people and hang out. Yep. You know, like... There's something about having a schedule of like, okay, now it's time to go to this thing and now it's time to go to this thing. And then seeing people and recognizing them from things. I don't know. You I, know, people are going to listen to this be like, wait, do they want to go back to school? And the answer is yes. Oh, no, absolutely oh. not. Oh. Oh. I mean, I mean, no, like no, to... no, not at all. I'm just a Ravenclaw, like, hiding, you hiding freak. my freak. You like to, you're, are you the kind of kid that was like, uh, teacher, you forgot to uh, grab everyone's homework from last night after she oh, forgets. I'm not going to lie. I have definitely done that in the past. <laughs> I have definitely done that. I love magic in small ways as well, though. It's like in any game that I 
play any game that I play, like Maple Story, Final Fantasy 14, even the games where it doesn't really even have a good magical presence, like RuneScape. Magic's just cool, dude. Magic's awesome. It's so funny because I'm not the only one who has this bias. Tetsuya Nomura, who makes Kingdom Hearts, he loves magic as well. And so in Kingdom Hearts 3, magic is purposefully like really broken. And I love magic, so I maxed it out. Yeah. And I was burning people left and right. I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a bit too easy. But when I played D&D, one of my friends just became like an impromptu dungeon master and he made a really simplified version. Well, guess what I became? <laughs> Obviously a wizard, right? Obviously. So yeah. I was like, okay, look, what spells, what cantrips? I want magic hand. That has so much utility. I want it. Give me magic hand. I can do anything with a magic hand, right? Really, like w within a certain distance, I can do whatever. And there was this monkey and the monkey stole my spell book and ran away in the top of the tree and started running away. And obviously our party started chasing after it. And then we realized to climb up to the tree and it starts flinging poop at us. It's just flinging crap at us. And we're just like, okay, well, <laughs> thank you, Dungeon Master. Thank you for flinging poop. And so my character, hmm. like my character design was a very like neutral character. Its entire drive was to gather more knowledge, right? If I found a method to gain more books or spells, I would take that over my other friends and I would stop at nothing to gain more knowledge, right? And so the monkey hmm. stealing the book was an act of absolute detestable action from my character's perspective, right? You just <laughs> did something you should never do. And so I rolled, I was like, all right, I want to grab the monkey using magic hand. It was enough distance that it was actually possible and I actually successfully rolled it. So, you know, I was like, yoink. And so my friends were like, okay, we should tame the pet and we should take the, we should ask the monkey to take us to like the monkey leader because apparently there were more monkeys. And the DM was talking about like the entire like colony of monkeys. But again, they had had done something detestable so in, in my character it wouldn't make sense to calmly let this person go so i looked the monkey dead in his beady poop flinging eyes and i told the dm i want to throw the monkey into the ground as hard as i can <laughs> and he rolls and i get a nat 20 i get a full 20 to my nice. roll and for those who don't know nat 20 is literally like you not only get what you want you get the optimal perfect version of it and so because i had mm -hmm. said i want to throw into the ground as hard as i can he described in great detail how i viscerally smashed the monkey onto the ground how how the organs oh. split and the soft tissue was obliterated. How I left a crater where the monkey once lay. And my entire party was like, what the hell are you doing? What are you doing to this monkey? And I'm like, listen knowledge above all magic is king i'm a wizard <laughs> it's awesome i i like that and uh those who actually play D, &D you'll know that you know maz didn't say the name of the spell right but i'm not gonna correct him well wait 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 what did i wait what did, wait what no no it's fine don't tell me uh, is it not is it not magic hand <laughs> wait no i'm gonna google this now i'm 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 a fake mage i'm a fake wizard <laughs> uh, wait, D &D, magic is it not magic mage hand ah! i'm just sitting here like oh, okay. hmm, i could um actually him but that, no! i'm gonna let him finish Oh, story. <laughs> you, 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 you <laughs> killed me. <laughs> okay, important question. Oh, yes, go. Would you wear a fancy hat? Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. Like, I, I... Okay, all right. Yeah, it's why. Describe it to me. How big is it? How big is its brim? Uh, what decorations does it have? All right, listen. Like, not gonna lie. I was so into this wizard thing that I literally was considering changing my entire character design into a wizard. Like, Mars. Like, yes. generally. And I still use the design. Like, whenever I do a video or transform and fly it around in my videos, I transform it to wizard Mars and I do whatever wizard Mars does. And so I Hell yeah. have my own design. It's purple. It's got a star at the end of it. It's approximately a meter in diameter and it's a little saggy. Yes. You know, it's just the method I would like to cast if I had complete freedom would be like, this is how one of my characters in my previous D&D campaign that really didn't um, flourish because we just did one and just stopped it. But I had tattooed incantations into his arm and he came from this family of like this cult that like believed in the true magic should come from incantations that you directly sear into your skin. And so the character had seared to incantations and spells and that would be how they remembered spells and everything and like we would cast from our you know, hands and i know it's definitely not following the rules of dnd i know i know but it's still it, funny you say that they recently added spell tattoos into the game so that is actually dnd canon we i don't even have to we don't even have to homebrew anything it's just there we can use it i love this okay because that's definitely <laughs> one of my designs and because i love the idea of using my hands like not needing to use an instrument but obviously oh yeah wizard people do that all the time okay great because wizard yeah, no Mars, 
Wizard Mars has this thing, like I have a staff um, and I call it the matchstick because it just looks like a matchstick. And basically the entire like staff is just made of gold and there's like a purple staff on top. I've definitely thought about it quite a lot. I never liked the idea of a broomstick. I thought a broomstick was a really weird device to fly on. So I, my star on the hat kind of detaches and becomes like a flying star and I just can go across and Ooh. I, I have my own uh, lore. Hearing how people reflavor spells is always the most fun and like art inspiring things. Whenever people describe how they cast their, their spell, I always get this urge to draw. Like maybe someone will describe when they cast a spell, like their eyes light up and their veins start to glow. Or somebody else might say, you know, I pull out a hairspray bottle and a lighter <laughs> and I cast uh, Burning Hands by spraying the spray bottle oh into my the lighter. God, I love that. I'm just like, I need to draw this. I definitely have written a lot about this outside of my videos you know because i think like people just forget they're like oh why do you have a wizard mars that's just your other design i'm like no it's because i like being a wizard I, I love magic and you know what i like more than that joe people subscribing to my channel I also like people subscribing to my channel, which you can come over and watch content like animations of my stream highlights or video essays analyzing video games. That sounds wonderful. They should do that. You want to play D&D? &D? Yeah, sure.